Well, good morning from Hong Kong. Well, it's been a while. Uh, it's it's been a pretty pretty cool summer. Uh, it had a lot of rain and it's been really hot, so haven't been doing a lot of work. Just been kind of doing all kinds of stuff, doing a lot of planning and having fun. Well, this uh this is my newest uh, plan, and uh, as as I do things for the electrical here, <clears throat> excuse me. As I do things for the electrical um, here on the Bigfoot, what what we're doing here is this is a 24 volt DC. It's a timer relay, and it's not like your standard type timers. These are kind of it's more of a high tech. And what I'm doing is I'm testing it right now. I've got the 24 volt LED uh, set up to it. I'm here at my little mad scientist little area where I do stuff on the boat. Um, as I test things before it goes out. Now, what this is, is this is a standard um, single slot. For, it goes on the DIN rail. And what it is, is it's the timer relay. I've got um, a different range and encounters for the amount of times on and the amount of times off. So it's not like that your standard round one that goes on. Well, this is because I'm using DC. Now, this, is gonna, this uses like milliamps. So what it is, is I've got the two Tomato systems, one on port, one on starboard, for the hydroponics, and then I've got the aft, the back drip rail system. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to power a relay that'll be up on, on each of them. So I can, I can cut the amount of power that I use. Um, and I'm going to need different, well, I could probably have the tomatoes on the same one, so it would be like, you know, 10 minutes on to 20 minutes off. Whereas um, on the back, where it's just all, it's the choice, um, lettuce, the basil, mint, things like that. Well, this one will be on like, that'll be on for like 10 minutes and then off for 20 minutes. There are 10 and 10, probably. I, I haven't decided. I've, I'm still doing my research on YouTube and other hydroponic websites. But I know that when the sun is beating on the tomatoes, and uh, I'm, I'm going to want to keep more than just, you know, 10 and 10. I want to have it off for more than that, probably 20 minutes, maybe. But the lettuce, um, because the cups are smaller... I think that would be like a 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. Then that way, from my breaker panel, it's kind of bright, bright out, I'm starting to label stuff, I'm, you know, running the wires. Again, I've only got three circuits up there right now. Um, everything else is controlled off of the helm, and I'm still switching that over. But it's been just warm, so I've, I've been going out doing other things other than just hanging out where it's really hot and I'm going to sweat so this is going to control them and i think and i'll be able to have everything down here you know where i want it but you know setting the time so i'm, I'm just testing that but i think this will be a good addition you know to the system and hopefully um even if i do get a leak i'm not going to lose as much uh, nutrient solution as fast because especially when the basil when the basil gets when the roots um, inside the net cups once they get really bound up, water does not want to find its way through, and again, it comes through. And uh, But it's, you know, it doesn't die, but I lose my nutrient solution, and I've got the float switch. So if it does run dry, the pump doesn't, you know, keep running dry. But that's what's happening, and that's just this timer relay. And I'm testing it, and I'm playing with it. But now it's, it's September, the end of September, we're kind of, kind of coming up to October, and it's like right now today it's still going to be like 33 degrees and that's so it's going to be pretty hot and uh so i'm kind of prepping um prepping for the i've got two tomatoes and once some sucker starts coming out then these are going to be like um my mother mother plants that will keep going for the tomatoes because once it's like we have highs of 28 degrees, and that during the days, I think the tomatoes will start growing. And I've noticed that these are just starting, you know, to take off. For a while there, when it was really hot last week, and that they were only about up to here, and they've just sprouted up. Now that it's getting cooler nights, um, basil, I just keep clipping. 
off of that. And again, I'm just using sponges and let it to get a root. Then I put it up. Rosemary is starting now that things are cooling down. And that rosemary is actually starting to grow again. And that it just doesn't like that this really hot heat. I, I tried to grow some beef steaks. And I didn't have, I don't have my uh, light on the top of it. So over the last couple days, they've just, they've just sprouted right up. But that's one thing I've got to take care of. But other than that, for like probably about the last month or so, uh, me and I have just been kind of having fun doing stuff here and there. Uh, fixing outboard engines and, and doing things like that. And May's mom caught a huge fish just over, over by the, in the typhoon shelter here. But right now, that's what's kind of going on. I've got, for the, um, for the tomatoes, excuse me while I go up here, we've got, now this is what I've been using for the hydroponics, for the, just the, the basil, the lettuce, and things like that. But this is the A and B solution that I've been using. And now this is a solution that's for anything that fruits. So we've started uh, using some on the, now that's just about a year old, a lemon tree. And, uh, but now this is what I'm going to use for anything but fruit, so that would be like the tomatoes. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to grow cucumbers yet, but just, I want to grow some tomatoes. I really want to. But this is the A and B mix that I'm using for the um, anything that fruits for tomatoes and stuff. And that's just for the greens. But that's what I can buy locally. And it's doing great um, because earlier... Earlier, what I had done is, I mean, when I first started, oh, God, I was getting so irritated. Oh, the pH levels and stuff. I don't even check the pH. I have not checked the pH. Water level. And this, let's see if I can, um, this is the, this has kind of got a, a yellow tint to it. Let me put it and pour it back in. But um, if you can see, this has got all the... Uh, magnesium and potassium and all that stuff. This A is just the, um, this is the uh, calcium nitrate. And that, but this has other stuff, but it's kind of a yellow. Let me see that. It's kind of a yellow color. And that, but I just judge, um, I don't do parts per million. I just judge by the color. I say, well, it's, it's looking pretty clear in the nutrient tank. And so then I just, I just add 250 milliliters of each into it let it go um ben, it, it's doing pretty good um this is going to be a little different because this is not as yellow and uh it's kind of yellow it's kind of you know anyway but this is it's like this is like fluorescent you know color this isn't so this will be another learning curve once i get the tomatoes in but i'm not using parts per million or or conductivity and i'm, I'm not doing any ph I'm just, I'm just letting, and it's just growing. We're making pesto. We've, we're giving away choy some. Why not? We're giving all, all, way, all kinds of stuff. We got pack choy growing now. Why not? So, but that's kind of what's happening. Uh, so if I get the timers on, if I get those timers on, and that, and it'll actually save the power that I make from the solar panels. Now, uh, once we make for the solar panels, and that, I, I'll be able to have more storage. Because these storage pan or these panels are just doing fantastic. Little exhaust fan, the solar exhaust fan in the roof here, fantabulous, excellent. I'm very, very, very pleased. But over like the last month, month and a half since I put up the last video, um, haven't really done a lot of work on the boat because it's it's been either it's been rainy and we just enjoy the cool weather, and or we just enjoy the sunshine doing stuff, uh, fishing and. Things of that nature, and that, but again, that's that's what we're using for the hydroponics. And so far, this new A and B, what I've been trying in this on the lemon tree, that's doing really well. It's doing really well. And uh, so, all right, guys, that's what's going on in my world. So be good, be safe, and always be well. Bye bye.